Hey everybody, Mike Rondo here. Welcome to the Shed of Solitude. And yes, I look a little different. I actually have uh, glasses on. They're not actually prescription or anything. They're kind of, they're blue blocking light. Uh, and I think my camera is a little crooked, so I apologize for that, but I ain't gonna fix it now. It's a little too late for that. But anyway, um, yeah, so I got these. They're magnified by, I think it's one, one something. It's a little too much for just walking around with them, but um, I'm kind of getting used to them, so that's why I look different. But today's video, I got a package. Big shock, right? So this is that pipe that I've been talking about, that I've been waiting for. It was inspired by Redcoat's Renaissance, and I gotta say, yesterday was raining cats and dogs. It was crazy out yesterday, and I watched on the camera the Postal Girl um, dropped off two packages. One got completely wet. Uh, it was a box, and I got nervous because I thought it was the pipe, but thankfully the pipe was in this plastic thing, which I normally don't like these things. Uh, for some reason, I, I just, I'm not a big fan of these. But anyway, so this pipe I got from Smoker's Haven, um, and I don't know, I'm a little curious how this is going to work out, because uh, bonus points for putting it in the plastic thing that kind of kept the rain off. Of course, it came in in uh, a regular US mail priority thing. So I'm not sure, oh, it did come with it. I'm a little surprised by that. Of course we got popcorn, but this may be a little indication of what this pipe is. I didn't think it would come with this, to be honest. I thought it was just gonna be the pipe, but well, so far, Smoker's Haven, working out well. Uh, yeah, all right, so before I make a mess with the popcorn, I'm gonna put that right over there. That's a mess. Um, I really didn't think it was gonna come with this. So this is the Stanwell uh, Devil Pipe, which I saw a red coat he has this pipe, and Dr. Lester has it, and I was completely surprised, and I wanted it, and I'm like, I gotta get my hand on this. So, here we go, this is the pipe itself. This is the Blue Jay is disapproving, and then there's the stem, and of course, there's the devil there. So, this is pretty cool. Hmm. Hmm. Now, this has never been smoked, and I gotta say, I was skeptical of that, but I don't, it does not look like, I don't know if you guys can see in there, but that looks pretty, pretty, um, not used. So, in any case, here's the case, which is just so cool. I mean, I love this. This is, this is awesome. I mean, how cool is that? <laughs> so, I'm pretty tickled pink right now. So, you're going to ask, how much did this cost me? This is about 110 I think. Uh, total like 120-ish around there. Now, I thought that was pretty decent because when I looked, I couldn't find anything. I punched it. That was the only place I could find this pipe. And the only reason why I said, well, let me see, I'll put my finger in here. Yeah, there's nothing. There's no soot. There's no nothing. Never been smoked. So it's an estate pipe. And I got to fix that. There we go. That has never been smoked at all, which I was surprised by that. I figured all estate pipes had been smoked. But I guess you find those bonus pipes that have never been smoked, right? Like they just get it for decoration or, or what have you. Um, but anyway... Let's fire this puppy up. I am going to be smoking... I was trying to think of a tobacco. I was going to go with an aromatic. I was going to go with Scarecrow. Uh, just, you know, because Dr. Lester likes his aromatics. I was going to go with that, but I said, nah. I'm going to go with the Haunting from Warped, Cornell, and Deal. Um, ah, it's such a good blend. I like this blend. This was, this was great. 
All right, so I don't want to get too much hair. Let's, uh, I think that's enough. We'll fire this puppy up. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I, this is really my first estate pipe. And this will probably be my last, like, really Halloween. It's too bad it wasn't here for Halloween. I should have got it before then, but I didn't, obviously. But, you know, that's okay. Of course, it's not filtered. I mean, I like how it, it just, it hangs great. This is great. I like this. Put that over there. I'm going to use my copper Zippo because my Dismas, I think, are clogged. I think some tobacco clogged the nozzle there that where the fuel comes out. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out how to get a pin in there or something. Um, Oh, um, so I'll probably have to get a pin or, I mean, in all honesty, TobaccoPipes.com has a sale, 15% off, I think, on Dismiss Lighters, so maybe I'll uh, get a spare, um, but I can't recommend those lighters. As much as I like them, they're very finicky and very problematic, uh, so to speak, so I can't say, yeah, go out, get one, or whatever, so... Um, if you want to take the risk like I did, spend your money on it, okay. But I might splurge and get one of those, uh, fancier pipe lighters. Um, we'll see. We shall see. But anyway, back to this pipe. Which. Gosh, I love how this hangs. I mean, this is a very comfortable pipe. Wow. I may have to get more Stanwells. The other reason that attracted me to this is because if you look at the picture, Christopher Morley here, he's got a long billiard, very similar to this. And that was part of my attraction. I mean, this is a little chunkier it looks like like the bowl looks bigger but but i think it's great i got an estate pipe that has never been smoked um oh, I, I can you even call it really an estate pipe if it's ever been never been smoked it's more like just a pipe that was left on the shelf and you found it and kind of there you go i don't know i don't know how i feel about that but anyway i'm glad for me And this, this is a hell of a pipe. Hmm. And that tobacco. Hmm. The haunting. It's funny. Scarecrow, an interesting blend that started out really hot with me and then kind of went down to Regularville, like it was like, okay. The Haunting though, always been really good. Now, unfortunately, Smoker's Haven does not have this pipe. I think I bought the last one, so. I don't know, I, I figured I was gonna have to find one on eBay or something, so I just did a random search, and I'm not the biggest fan of eBay. Um, Itzy, I've had more success on Itzy. But man, I, could, I can see why Dr. Lester like, likes this pipe. Oh, this is great. I mean, it's... Smaller, the bowl is smaller than I typically like, but I just like how, how comfortable it is. This is awesome. 
you may see me smoking this a lot. Uh, even though it's, you know, getting Christmas time. Which, by the way, next week, I'll be kicking off Christmas, so to speak. So, there goes that stupid squirrel. I'll be doing uh, fall stuff, but I'll be getting into the little bit here and there. You'll probably see these lights, the lamp leg lights light up, and maybe a Christmas tree. We'll see. This is fantastic. Now, see, this puts me in the mood of wanting to go buy more pipes, <laughs> um, which, is, which uh, you know, I, I will be doing Christmas shopping online later after this, but, you know, if I happen to stumble upon another pipe, I mean, what are you going to do? Oh, but, man, this pipe is fantastic. I mean, I know there's going to be other Stanwells and other companies that make this type of billiard, right? The long stem billiard. It's almost like Bing's. Bing's is kind of like that. Except this seems like it's... Like it holds more than the Bing's. I don't know. I'll have to compare it at some point. Bing's will be coming out soon after Thanksgiving. The Christmas blends and... and uh, well, Thanksgiving night. I'll have that pipe blend that I made. Probably in Bing's pipe. Hmm. I might look for another pipe like this. But uh, if you can get your hands on the haunting, certainly get get it. Of course, my, my neighbor, I was going to do this video earlier. You might even hear it, the leaf blower blowing in the background. He's in his front yard now, not so much the backyard. And when he comes up right of going in the shed, oh my God. I'm trying to watch uh, Redcoat's Renaissance with his Christmas video he just posted. And I couldn't barely hear him. I had to stop and wait till he was out of here. But that's part of being a shed smoker. You have to deal with your neighbors. You have to get along um, to get along. This is a great draw. Hmm. Between my pipes and my tobacco, I haven't hit a snag really, other than the great outdoors. And I can't remember who makes that blend. A Sutliff, I think. Sutliff. That was the only one when I was surprised by that, that it wasn't as good as it. Uh, all their other blends seemed to be a hit for me. <clears throat> but that particular one didn't do too much for me. Oh, and uh, one thing I want to address is, I have, I still can't figure this problem out on YouTube. I changed it so all comments would be approved, so to speak. And I'm still getting some that I see them, but nobody else can see them because then that community guidelines thing show up. So I don't know what's going on. I know several of you have made comments and you may not see them. I see them and I would love to reply to them, but I can't. Um, so I'm trying to figure that out. I don't know what the deal is. I thought I fixed it, but apparently I have not. Um, and there was one gentleman who uh, wanted me to email him, and I may do that uh, because he wanted my address to send me something, I believe. But I'm going to hold off on that because I'm probably going to get a P.O. box because um, people want to send me things, which is very strange to me. It's very odd. Um, I mean, I'm cool with it, but it, it's just a weird feeling. I don't know. Um, but going forward, forward, as my channel's actually surprisingly grown um, to over 600 now, which is baffling, um, <clears throat> I figured if anyone wants to send me something, review something, you know, here's the post box. Here you go. Send it my way. I'll be happy to review it. Wow. Is it worth 110? Plus, yeah, I guess so, yeah. I've spent more on pipes. <laughs> this is, uh, man, it's going to be so tough to make my decision on 
on the seven pipes. <clears throat> oh, this is a great one. This is great. Anyway, I'm going to end this here, finish this pipe. Um, enjoying this pipe. Um, this is fantastic. Absolutely love it. I'll give you guys another, let me get the smoke out of the way for the camera here. Give you guys another look at it. There you go. There's the devil right there. Looking good. That's the, see if you can see inside there. That's the first, first light. Oh, actually, do this here. Give you guys an idea of, I don't know if I'm too close. There we go. There we go. Give you guys an idea of what it looks like. Um, but I am enjoying these long stem billiards. Um, they're far more comfortable than I thought they would be. Like, I thought this would be very springy. But it's got more balance than my shorter, like, my 7L, my 320s. Because they're bent. They kind of wiggle a little bit. Could be me, my jaw, or whatever. But this, it just balances perfectly. Because they blow ash all over me. Hmm. Oh, uh, one more thing before I go. Last night I meant to do this video. Uh, I was very excited because, you know, I'm like, first, I was scared that this pipe got damaged with all that rain and everything. It got wet. That wasn't the case. I was really excited. I was going to come out here around 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock. Uh, and then all of a sudden I wasn't feeling so great. I was like, what's going on here? I'm feeling kind of feverish um, and sort of chills. I'm like, oh, don't tell me I got the dreaded COVID. Um, I took my temperature. I was 101. I'm like, where the hell did this come from? I was fine throughout the day, and all of a sudden, I got sick. Uh, so I decided, well, I'm not going to push myself, come out here. Uh, I had the chills a little bit. Like, I was just cold. Not like the chills, chills where you're shaking or anything. It's just kind of cold, but yet you're hot because of the fever and everything. So I took some Advil, which my stomach is... Absolutely a mess for taking too many Advil this week because of my back. But I'm, I'm, I seem to be better now. Back-wise, the fever's gone. All that's good. So I'm on the mend. So I had to do this today. I wanted to do it last night. I wanted to share this with you guys so bad. I was going to tease. I was going to open the box up. And, and if I had this, which I didn't think was coming with this pipe, I thought it was like going to be just the pipe, um, which would have been fine. But I'm so glad this came with it. Um, I was going to tease a little picture. I was going to say, hey, not feeling well, but I'll get to this tomorrow night. But I was like, nah, I, don't, I won't do that. I'll just go to bed, and that'll be the end of it. Um, so, in any case, I'm going to leave it there. I'm out of here. This was a good pipe. I love it. Glad I got to share it with you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys have a good Saturday. I'll probably see you tomorrow. Maybe tonight. Probably tomorrow, though. Um, anyway, I'm out of here. Catch you guys later.